Welcome back to the Comsol Tumor Ablation Pro uh, module tutorial. And what we're going to be doing in this video is adding materials. Uh, last video we did our geometries and now we want to add materials to these geometries to give them properties so that our physics will make sense of it. So if you click on the materials tab over here, um, you'll see that this add material is highlighted and you go all the way over here to the right and you get to choose your materials. It's uh, pretty straightforward. And first material that we're going to add is for our insulating uh, probe. So, I mean, you can choose any, any insulating material. Uh, I chose to use titanium because it's a very stiff material that I feel like would be easy to use to stab into a person. And we're going to choose the, the geometries that we want to add this material to. Uh, it, you can tell that this uh, circular tumor geometry has separated the two geometries in the insulated shaft. So make sure to select both of them so that we can add our material. Go to add to selection and it'll highlight yellow. It'll give us all the properties and the material settings. Uh, we don't wanna mess with any of these properties because this is a built-in property or built-in material. Okay, so now uh, we want to add copper. Uh, copper has very high, is highly conductive in both heat and electricity. So we're just gonna use that for our probe. It's typically not the best choice for a probe because copper is not the most biocompatible sub substance because if the copper probe corrodes, it can cause issues in the body. But for this, we're just going to use a copper probe and we're going to add it to the selection. And also um, you have all your, all your uh, settings and everything. So now we have a copper probe and a titanium insulated shell. But there is not a built-in a built-in material for a, a hepatic tumor. So uh, by looking at the uh, Comsol website and going through their tutorials, I have been able to find uh, properties for a hepatic tumor, which. I am going to add to this uh, to uh, this tumor. So what you're going to do is go up to materials, blank material, and you're going to choose the uh, tumor. So what it does here when you choose this is uh, when you make a blank material, it's like okay, I don't know what properties you want. So you choose this. Uh, this tumor and it's like okay you have the this geometry associated with this uh, with this physics so we know what properties you need for this physics therefore we know what properties you need for this geometry so um, it has all the properties that you need to enter for the model to work right here and the properties that we are going to enter are uh, zero point. Uh, it's just like one third. Uh, however far you want to make that go out, the relative permittivity is one. Let's see. Next is k is zero point five two, which is the thermal conductivity. Density is ten seventy nine. Uh, be especially with density, uh, it comes in uh, many different units. Units here are kilograms per meter squared. So just be careful if you have to use like a research article for uh, for density for a material that you add that it's it's the right units. Uh, 
S slash M and watts per meters times Kelvin and all all these units are fairly standard, but density can come in several different units. And the heat capacity at constant pressure is 3540. Okay, so electrical uh, conductivity, 0 0.333, uh, one third. Uh, relative permittivity is one. Thermal conductivity is 0 0.52. Density is 1079. And heat capacity at constant pressure is 3540. So now that we have our materials added, we want to make sure we have the physics lined up correctly in our model. Otherwise, there's really no point to running the model. So let's go to physics. So you have um, several, several different options. There are so many parameters. But uh, we aren't going to mess with anything here. Um, in, in this particular tab, what you want to do is make sure that all of your, your entire model is selected, selected because all of them are going to be exposed to electrical current, even if one is an insulator. Um, uh, current conservation. So uh, we want to, uh, no, we want this from material. And, okay, electrical insulation, all of our boundaries that are uh, not, bound, not bound to another geometry is chosen, that's fine. Initial values, we want our initial value to be uh, zero volts because um, our initial value throughout the entire geometry, this is your initial value throughout the entire geometry. So let's say if this was already one volt, you'd put it one volt and then you would change the probe to where it would add more voltage. But we want it to start at zero volts because it's going to be, you know, there's going to be some current throughout the body, but it's going to be negligible for uh, this process. So first thing we want to do is we'll just add our ground uh, we're going to make all of our insulating boundaries our, gr uh, our ground just to make things easier, uh, simple enough, because there's going to be no, no current going, going through these, through the insulating shaft. So we just, we're just going to make it into a ground. Electric potential. Uh, we want our probe to have electric potential because that's the whole point of the model. And uh, based on what I've done previously, our electric potential should be 2.5 millivolts, 0 0.0025. Yeah, that's 2.5 millivolts. Okay, so now we have our um, electrical current physics setup. And now we go to the heat transfer in solids. Again, you want to make sure everything's, uh, everything's good. But ambient temperature is not going to be room temperature. It's going to be body temperature, which is uh, 310K. So all this is from material. Initial values, 310K. Thermal insulation is the same as electrical insulation. And now that you've chosen the heat transfer in solids, it automatically comes up here on the bar. So we want to add a heat flux boundary. And this is going to apply to the entire model. And it's not going to be a general inward heat flux, but it's going to be heat transfer coefficient, which is going to be five, because that's, that's just a standard heat transfer coefficient. And the external temperature is going to be 310. And that's 
it for the physics. Uh, multi physics is set up. Um, it's, you know, uh, the model wizard automatically set up the multi physics for us. So that's it for the physics. And yeah, that's all I have for this video. And next video, we will make the mesh and do our study and possibly uh, look at the results. All right, thank you very much.